So for today's video, we're going to multiply polynomials. So we're just going to do a variety of examples here that I have written down on multiplying polynomials. So the first example, we'll just start real basic in multiplying two binomials. So example number one. All right, so let's do x minus 9 times x plus 4. And all you need to do is just slowly distribute each term in the first binomial. So we're going to multiply x times this x and then x times the 4. Okay, and then multiply the second term of this binomial, negative 9 times x, negative 9 times negative 4. Okay, so it's just multiplication um, over the addition in this case, and then we will combine all of our like terms. So let's start with the green. So x times x is x squared. x times positive 4 is a positive 4x. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. And negative 9 times a positive 4 is a negative 36. And then combining our two like terms, which are, will always be in the middle, in this case, from multiplying two binomials with just x to the first power in each. So our final answer is going to be a trinomial of x squared. Positive 4 added to a negative 9 is a negative 5x minus 36. So just to review the vocab, we have a leading coefficient of 1. The leading term is x squared. It's a degree 2 or quadratic. It has 1, 2, 3 terms, so it's called the trinomial. Okay? Example number 2. We're going to do the multiplication of two binomials again, but this time look at um, some fractional coefficients. So let's do 4 thirds x plus 2 times 5, 6 x minus 6. Okay? It's very easy if you have your graphing calculator handy, okay, as they multiply the fractions for us. So I will set that down here, clear. Remember you can do the alpha y equals to get to the numerator over denominator or fraction. So I'm going to do 4 thirds times 5 6. And this will give me the answer in simplified form. So we have 10 ninths as our answer. So this times this and this times this. So that was 10 ninths x squared because x times x. Now 4 thirds times a negative 6. So I'm actually going to go up and just grab that and bring it down. But I want to do 4 thirds. I'm going to delete this fraction. No, that's not necessarily working. So I'll type it in again. Alpha link is also a shortcut. So 4 thirds times 6 is 8. So positive times negative is negative 8x. And now here, so 2 times 5, 6. So 2 times 5, 6 is 5 thirds. So plus, because positive times positive, plus 5 thirds x. And then 2 times negative 6 is a negative 12. Again, the only like terms are in the middle here because they're both x and x. They have no exponent of x squared. So my final answer is going to be 10 ninths x squared. And then we can combine these right on the calculator. So a negative 8, whoops, negative, I'm going to use the negative button, not minus, negative 8 plus 5 thirds. So that's minus 19 thirds x minus 12. And just as a shortcut, 
Okay, remember this is a trick to see if you're right in your product. So we can see if the graph of this, okay, so your answer in the original problem, if you type those both into different lines and you're calculating under y equals, if the graph is the same, and we'd say it's degree two, so it's a quadratic, if the curves are the same, then we know we have it right. So I will take the time to type it in. So the first one is 4 thirds x plus 2, and then 5 6 x minus 6. And then in the next line is 10 ninths x squared minus 19 thirds x minus 12. And if I did this correctly, when I hit graph, the second curve, which I have in red here, the red should go over the blue. So let's see. There's the blue. It's pretty slow. And then as soon as I start to see the red go over the top, yep, I know I'm correct. You can also go second table. I think it has to finish up. And if the Y values match up, and you can see they do, we know that we're correct as well. Okay? So just remember that little trick on the calculator. And we could have done the same as well. I would have typed in the product of these two binomials and then the trinomial on the second line and to see if those curves matched up. All right, and example number three. Okay. Let's do 3x plus 5 times 2x minus 1. So remember distributing the 3x times, or through that uh, parenthesis or binomial, and then distribute the 5 all the way through. So key is just to go nice and slow. 3 times 2, 6, x times x, x squared. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and since there's no x here, like this was x times x, I just bring along the x. 5 times 2 is positive 10, bring along the x, and 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Combining our like terms in the middle, we get 6x squared plus 7x minus 5. Okay. So uh, number 4, we're going to look at the square of a binomial. So example number 4 would be x plus 4 squared. So if it's written like that, that means we're going to take the binomial x plus 4 and multiply it times itself. So this actually ends up being pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to distribute the x through that second set of parentheses and then distribute the 4. So x times x is x squared. x times a positive 4 is a positive 4x. Positive 4 times x is positive 4x, and positive 4 times positive 4 is positive 16. And this should happen, right? When you're squaring a binomial, these two ter middle terms should be identical, okay? Combining those, our final answer is the trinomial x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay. We're going to look at the square of a harder um, product. So I'm going to add some coefficients in front of the x. So example number 5. Let's do uh, 4x squared minus y cubed squared. So the first thing I would do is write it out or stamp it out twice. So 4x squared minus y cubed times 4x squared minus y cubed. Now I don't have much room to write it to the right, so I will write the answer below. And I'm going to go nice and slow. So I'm not even going to draw the red lines yet. I'm going to do this first distribution. 
4 times 4 is 16. x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. 4 times, there's no number here, so that is a 1. 4 times 1 is 4, but it ends up being positive times negative, so negative 4. And these are not like bases. Okay, they have different exponents and different bases. So we just simply copy down the x squared y cubed. I can't add the exponents because the bases or the variables are not the same. And remember, whatever we get here in the middle, so this was an x squared y cubed, I should get the same one, right, to the, to this is my next term. These two middle terms should match. So let's see. We're going to do this times this and this times this. So there is a 1 there. Negative 1 times 4 is a negative 4. Again, y cubed times x squared. Uh, you could write y cubed x squared, but I am going to write it in alphabetical order, and we do that so we can easily spot the like term. And then negative times negative positive. y cubed times y cubed would be y to the 6th. Combining the two middle terms, we get 16, x to the 4th. Negative 4, negative 4 is negative 8. x squared, y cubed. Remember, when you're adding, those exponents don't change. And then plus y to the 6th. Okay, we're just going to look at three more examples. We'll move on to the next page. And this is example number 6. All right, we're going to do x minus 7 squared subtracted from 6x. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is this, because subtracted from means, so I'm going to draw a line here, we're going to do the 6x minus whatever we get from squaring that. So off to the side, I'm going to do x minus 7 times x minus 7. So remember, if these two binomials are the same, the two middle terms, going back to this other sheet, uh, will be the same. So x times x, x squared, x times negative 7, negative 7x, negative 7 times x, negative 7x, they match, good. Negative 7 times negative 7, positive 49. So combining these two middle terms, that square is equal to x squared minus 14x plus 49. Now I can subtract that from the 6x. Okay. Now, if it was added to, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but since it's subtracted from, it's going to change the sign of this whole trinomial. Okay, so this becomes a negative x squared. This becomes a positive 14x, because negative times negative, and that's going to change it to negative 49. So we just have to swap all the signs and combine it with that 6x. Now the only like terms here are the x terms. 6x and 14x. So everything else is just copied down. And if it doesn't say your answer has to be in standard form, you can put it in any order you want, the terms. But I will always, or try to anyways, I shouldn't say that in case I don't, put it in standard form. So my leading term is going to be the negative x squared. 6 plus 14 is 20x minus 49. So there's my final answer. Okay? Number seven. Let's do two times x plus three squared minus ten times x plus two minus eight. And I'm going to draw the line again because I always need to take care of that square first. So let's do x plus three times x plus three. So distributing x times x, x squared, x times 3, 3x, 3 times x, 3x. Remember, they should be the same. 3 times 3, 9. And you could then replace 
um, the four terms for that square, but I like to fully simplify first. So again, just combining those middle terms. Now I'm going to rewrite this whole trinomial with this answer replacing the square. Okay, so it's really this problem. So 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 10 times x plus 2 minus 8. This is equivalent to that, okay, for vocab. So I will grab the green pen to distribute this first line here. I'm just going to double everything in the parentheses. So instead of x squared, it's 2x squared. Instead of 6x, it's 12x. Instead of 9, it's 18. Then for this one, I'm going to distribute the negative 10 through. So minus 10x minus 20, and then just bring along that negative 8. So highest to lowest exponent, I would do the x squared first, and the only x squared is this one. So my final answer is going to be 2x squared. This is an x term, this is an x term, it's my only 2x terms. 12 minus 10 is 2x. Now 18 minus 20, okay? 18 minus 20 is a negative 2, negative 2 minus 8, or you could type it all in one line in the calculator. That's up to you, because they're all like terms. We should get negative 10. So on the calculator, 18 minus 20 minus 8. Negative 10. Okay, last one. So to finish for today, we're going to do a binomial. So let's do x minus 3 times a trinomial. 2x squared minus 9x plus 5. Now I like to stack my um, terms as I distribute. So when I distribute the x all the way through, and again you just go nice and slow, there is a 1 there, so all of these coefficients aren't going to change in the constant because anything times 1 is 1, or is itself. So 5 times 1 is 5, 9 times 1 is 9, 2 times 1 is 2. So we just got to increase the exponents, okay? So 2 times 1 is 2, and then x times x squared, we now have x cubed. 1 times negative 9 is negative 9, and x times x is x squared. And then 1x times 5 is a positive 5x. And so the stacking piece, when I do negative 3 times 2x, that's negative 6x squared. I like to stack it under its like term. And then negative 3 times negative 9 would be a positive 27x. And then negative 3 times uh, positive 5 is negative 15. And then you can combine straight down. So there's nothing to combine with the 2x cubed. Negative 9 and negative 6 is negative 15. Remember the x squared stays the same. So this now becomes a cubic uh, function. And then 27 plus 5 is 32x minus 15. So now we have four terms in the polynomial. And there's our final answer. And we are done for today.